Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Happy House Berlin. I'm a yoga teacher, cancer survivor and founder of the Yoga for Cancer charity initiative. So welcome to our platform. Um, today I've prepared a nice short morning sequence that focuses on the shoulders. The shoulders is an area of the body where um, uh, a lot of weight is carried, so um, whether it's emotional or physical ballast, the shoulders are, tend to be um, tense and even tenser throughout the day. So what we want to do with this routine is to get the shoulders flexible and also release tension, relax them. Um, it's also um, a good sequence if you want to improve your range of motion of the arms, uh, especially if you had a breast surgery. But um, please remember that uh, to ask your um, doctor first, so only when he allows exercising and you have the go um, to attend this class. And also bear in mind that this class does not replace the visit to a physiotherapist. So if you have real issues with your back and shoulders, go and see a specialist. Other than that, I hope you enjoy it. So um, please find a comfortable seating position on the mat. It can be cross-legged like me, or you can also uh, kneel down and sit on your heels. Just make sure you're comfortable here for a few minutes. Uh, maybe wiggle around a bit to first find your perfect place and then when you're ready close your eyes put your hands in front of your chest and connect to yourself and take a moment to arrive on the mat first and also here with you in you take a few deep breaths Feel the chest rise when you inhale and the exhale that relaxes the chest again. Maybe you can also feel your heart beat. Hmm. Focus on your seating bones for a moment. And all the areas that touch the floor. Take another deep breath and open your eyes. And stretch out your arms to the side, the palms are facing up. Inhale, the arms go all the way up. Get new energy into your body, look up into your hands. Exhale, turn the hands over, palms are facing down, old energy, push it away. Inhale, turn the palms up again, gain breath and energy and strength and exhale, push the old used energy and air down and one more time, all the way up. And exhale, push down. Inhale, the arms and hands go up again. Now for the next exhale, we're going into a first twist to the right. So the left hand comes on the right knee and the right hand goes behind you. And you do a very gentle twist to the left as you exhale. Deep breath here, deep breathing here. Inhale, release the hands, put them up in the middle of the air again. And exhale, twist to the left, left hand behind you, right hand on your left knee. Mm. Again, gentle. It's the first one. Mm. 
deep breaths. And on the next inhale, the arms go all the way up. And exhale, arms go down. So um, now we're going to do a short energizing routine from Kundalini Yoga. It's a dynamic spinal twist. And it's really great to warm the shoulders and the upper torso up. And it will also energize you. So please stretch out your hands to the side, the arms. And now you place your fingers on your shoulders. Uh, fingers are in the front, the thumb is in the back. Keep your spine straight and we're going to do fast movement and breathing combination. You breathe through the nose. So you inhale and you twist your whole torso with head and arms um, to the left like this. And exhale to the right. Inhale left. Exhale right. And you want to speed up. Come to the middle, put your hands again on your knees. Okay, regain your normal breath, close your eyes and feel the difference in the body. You should already feel less tension in the shoulders, the shoulders should feel a bit warmed up and your heartbeat probably is raised a bit because of the fast breathing. So. And take another breath here and then open your eyes again. We're going to put the arms in cactus pose. So arms stretched out and the elbows angled, hands, palms facing away from you. And first you want to inhale here and open up the chest. Hands and arms move a bit to the back and exhale. Round back and the elbows and hands clap. Inhale, open the chest. Arms and hands go to the back. Exhale, clap. Inhale, open. And exhale, clap. One more time. Inhale, open. And exhale, clap. Now inhale, open the arms. And now with an exhale, the right arm is moving towards the left hand. So here the hands and maybe the elbows want to meet. Inhale, open up. Exhale to the right. And try and meet the head, turn with. Inhale up. And the right arm moves to the left. Inhale, middle. Exhale to the right. Now inhale, open up your arms fully. And exhale, do the whole arm clap. So right arm to the left. Inhale, open. And exhale to the right. Inhale, open. And exhale, left. Inhale, open. And exhale, right. Inhale here, in the middle. And exhale, release the arms. Put them on the knees for a moment. Maybe we go around a bit with the shoulders. Um, we're going to do three little um, exercises that are going to complete our arm vinyasa. Um, they are, first is um, one to add, uh, we'll, open up the shoulders so you um, want to put your hands in front of you and now you inhale and you exhale and you apply pressure here so you should feel the muscles working in your back and you want to apply the pressure here and hold it and breathe
keep on going, keep on pressing. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale and press. And inhale, press even stronger. And exhale, press, press, and let go. Very good. Now we're going to do the opposite movement. Now we're going to interlock the hands in front of the chest. So grab into your fingers. And with an inhale, you want to pull the hands and the arms apart. And again, we're holding this for a few breaths, so get ready. Inhale and pull. And one more inhale, pull strongly. And exhale, let go. One last um, stretch for the shoulders, really nice one, it's the eagle arms. So you want to uh, stretch out your right arm in front of you and then the left arm crosses underneath, comes up again and kind of wraps around this arm and your palms, try if you can grab your palms or your hands and hold this here. Feel the stretch in the shoulders. You can also, if you don't feel it that strongly, you can carefully lift the elbows a bit up, but enhances the stretch. The spine is straight, you're looking into your hands and feel the stretch in your shoulders. And one more inhale here, and exhale, open, release the posture, hands on the knees for a second, wiggle the shoulders, we're doing the other side, so now this time the left arm stretches out and the right one crosses underneath and wraps itself around and try and grab your hand with that right one, try and grab your left hand and if you can make the palms touch if not grab whatever you can same thing stay here for a few breaths straight spine close your eyes and again if you want to enhance the stretch on the shoulders just lift the elbows so the arms a bit further up but make sure that the shoulders stay down so you don't want to raise the shoulders and deep, breathe deeply Very good, one last inhale here, and exhale, let go, put the hands on the sides, mm. inhale, put the arms all the way up, cross this time in the middle with the hands and underarms, and exhale, hands go down. We're coming onto all fours now, so please turn over onto your knees, find a position in the middle of the mat, um, the hands are underneath the shoulders, the knees are underneath the hips, hip width apart, you have your hands stretched out and we're starting here um, by a few simple but really nice uh, spine wake up uh, cat cow movements. So you inhale, you arch your back slightly, the hip pulls back and the head lifts up slightly and exhale, you round the back, head goes down, chin towards the chest, and then it sits in. Inhale, come up again into cow. And exhale, from the lower back on, pull yourself in and round the leg. And one last time. Inhale, arch the back. And exhale. 
Now, what we're going to do now is uh, shoulder rotations, as if you I'm going to show as if you were rotating your shoulders, but we're rotating the shoulders by keeping the hands on the floor. So basically, you're rotating your shoulders by um, moving your body accordingly. So you just figure it out a bit yourself. I can't really describe it. So you want to make sure your shoulders rotate in the sockets while you move your torso to allow this movement even with the hands on the floor and now also change sides it's a really great way hmm, to wake up the spine flex keep it flexible now very good come to the neutral position again and um, we're doing another shoulder stretch, but for us also a warming up the shoulder socket again. So with an inhale, stretch out the left leg behind you. Come onto your tiptoes, active left foot. The hips are leveled. And now you want to raise your right hand and open up to the side. Look to the side wall here. Uh, don't overdo the stretch, we're only just starting, so when your arm is all the way up, start first making small wavy movements as if you want to say hi to somebody. These wavy movements can then be transformed into circles. Do some circles one way. Again, activity in the left foot, it pushes back. Also change sides here with a circle. Look into your hand the whole time. And now when you're done, you can inhale one more time and open up more. Mm -hmm. Inhale here. Exhale, left knee comes back to the right and the right arm dives underneath the left armpit. And you stretch up the right arm, the palms facing up to stretch your shoulder blade. So you can stay here or you can walk your left hand to the front of the mat to enhance the stretch. Stay here for a few breaths. Inhale the hand Left hand goes back underneath the shoulder, the right arm opens up one more time and finds its place underneath the right shoulder again and we're doing the other side straight away. So inhale, now the right leg steps back, stretches back, come onto your tip to there again, very active, push the heel back and open up now to the left, look into your hand, first start by making again the tiny movements as if you're saying hi to somebody, wave with your arm, then transform it into circles. And do that at your own speed. It can be small circles, it can be big circles, fast, slow, whatever feels right for you now. And change directions. Okay, when the next inhale comes, you want to open up again. A bit further now. Inhale deeply and exhale the right knee goes next to the left and the left arm dives underneath the right armpit. You can stay here or again walk the right hand to the front and enhance that stretch. Breathe deeply. Hmm. Now inhale, the right hand walks back underneath the right shoulder, the left arm opens one last time, and exhale, hand on the floor. Very good. We're now ready to go into the first down dog, so active hands 
active feet and push the, yourself up into the first down dog and start immediately walking and carefully find your position. You can check if your fingers again are spread out so that your hands are shoulder width apart, your feet kind of hip width apart and you can start walking and stretching the hamstrings, pushing one heel at a time to the floor. Very good. Now come in high here, come onto your tiptoes and exhale, bend the knees once. Very active arms, very active legs. Try to really almost touch your upper legs with your chest and belly. And hold this here and stretch the legs again, heels to the floor. Inhale, come into your first plank. Stay here for a moment and exhale. Push yourself back into dog. We're repeating this. Inhale, plank, exhale, down dog, inhale, plank, exhale, down dog, inhale, plank, exhale, down dog, feel the body parts that are working at the moment, feel the movement in the shoulders, inhale, plank, exhale, down dog, inhale, now come into plank, and with an exhale, knees, chest and chin come on the floor, elbows stay close to the body, now straighten your feet, they are now flat, uh, pointed and lying on the floor, inhale, Roll up the shoulders, lift up the chest, come into the first cobra. Exhale, forehead on the floor, long neck here. Inhale, roll back up, cobra. And exhale, forehead to the floor. Inhale, roll up. Cobra. And exhale, forehead on the floor. Inhale, one last time, roll up into Cobra. And exhale, the toes flip over and push yourself back first into Child's Pose. And we're going to stay here for a second. Find, what, find out what your perfect child's pose is today. You can have the knees further apart or not. You can also have the hands instead of in front and the sides of your body. You also can flatten your feet again and make it a very relaxing posture. And stay here for two breaths. It's a very relaxing exercise with the back. It's really, really everything, the whole back muscles should all be relaxed now. Okay, with the next inhale, going back into action. Put your hands again underneath your shoulders, flip over the feet, come onto your tip toes, and push yourself into the down dog. Inhale here, now the right leg goes up, the hip is closed. Exhale, the right knee moves to the front and the right foot lands between the hands. Exhale, the left knee goes on the floor. Inhale here, the arms go up, hands to the ceiling, look up into your hands. Exhale. Left hand on the outside of the right foot and the right arm opens up as we did before into another twist. And this time we're going to make different circles. So the right arm now is going to move back, back, back and 
down, then exhale, and you inhale, and the arm goes up, 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 and exhale, down, inhale, up, and exhale, down, inhale, up. Now stay here and see if you can stretch your left leg, so lift the knee from the floor, and hold it here, just twist, a bit more active. Inhale here, exhale the right hand now comes into next to the left hand, so on the inside of the left foot, and now we're opening up to the left, just for a moment, very good. Then exhale, hands go on, one hand goes back on the floor, and the right hand moves over so that we're on either side of the right foot. And you want to make the step a bit smaller here and flow, melt once over your right leg. Bear, be careful with the right hip, it wants to come to the front, so you want to pull it back. And a few breaths here. Inhale, bend the front knee, left knee comes back on the floor, and exhale, step back straight into plank. Now throw for your yoga nyasa, either knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. And then exhale, and with an inhale, push yourself up to up dog or cobra. And exhale, push yourself back into down dog. We're doing the other side, inhale. Left leg comes up, exhale, left leg moves to the front, foot between the hands, the right knee comes on the floor, inhale, lift the torso up, come up all the way with your hands, proud posture. Make sure the shoulders don't rise, keep them relaxed, and look up into the ceiling. Breathe deeply, inhale here. Now the right hand comes to the inside of the left foot and the left arm opens up. And again, we're gonna do circles here. So inhale up and when the arm is up, exhale. The arm moves in the circle slowly back and down. Inhale, front and up. And exhale, back and down. Down, inhale, up, and exhale, down, and one more circle, inhale, up, and exhale, down, inhale, the hand stays, uh, the arm stays up, and you stretch out your right leg, now very active, right and left leg, stay here, Hold this for a few breaths. Inhale, not again, one more time. Then exhale, the left hand comes to the inside of the right foot. And you open up with the right arm to the side. As a counter movement. And inhale here, exhale, the hand goes to the right side of the left foot, the left hand moves to the outside again on the left. We make the step a bit smaller and you now stretch over your right leg and your left leg.
breath deeply. Inhale. And on the next exhale, the left leg bends. Put activity into your hands. Left leg steps back. The right might want to go a bit further back as well. So we meet in plank. Inhale here. And exhale, your vinyasa. Your vinyasa. Either knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. Push yourself up into up dog or cobra. And exhale. We meet in down dog. Inhale. Now lift the right leg up. Open the hip this time. Let the foot fall towards your bum cheek. And make little circles here with the right leg. And also into the other direction. Okay, very good. Level the hip again. Inhale, exhale, the right foot coming in between the hands. And this time we're going straight into a warrior one version with the heel up. Stay here, stand proud. Very active. Foot, left foot and right foot. And Make sure you have a 90 degree angle in your front leg, that you can see your big toes. And that left heel pushes back. And when you used, you got used to that posture, you want to slowly put first your hands and namaste. Shift the body weight onto the right leg and push yourself up into a uh, warrior three posture with the left leg stretched out. Stay here for a moment. Inhale and step back. Left knee on the floor. Arms go up. Inhale, arms go down. And step back into plank. Inhale, exhale. Knees, chest and shin or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, we meet in down dog now inhale the left leg is up open up the hip you bend the leg left foot towards the bum and you make tiny circles to the other side and change directions and level the hip again inhale exhale left leg between the hands Inhale, come straight up into warrior one with lifted heel. Stay here, adjust um, if you need adjustment. Do this now. See that your left leg is bent in 90 degrees, that you can see your big left toe next to your knee. Your hips are leveled. Action in the front and left in the back leg as well. Stay here for a moment. And again, hands go in namaste. Inhale and exhale. Push yourself up into warrior three. The right leg stretches out and you're flying for the first time. Not the second time, we did the other side first. Hold this here for a moment. And inhale. Step back. And exhale, right knee on the floor, hands on the floor. Inhale, left leg steps back. We meet in plank, your version. Either knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, down dog. Now, stay here for a moment. Then inhale, come onto your tiptoes. Bend the legs and come onto your knees for another short relaxation in child's pose. Again, your version. Mm. Make it relaxing, that's the main thing, wherever you have the arms, beside your legs or in the front. Forehead rests. And you catch your breath. Good. 
Now in faith, just slowly roll all the way up. Um, we're going to do now um, the eagle arms we did before. And the idea is to go all the way into eagle pose, but you don't have to, you just feel how it goes. So um, sit comfortably on your heels. We're going, I'm going to talk you step by step into the position and out again. So with an inhale, you want to put your right arm, stretch it out to the front. The left arm crosses underneath, the hand wraps around it, you grab your hand or your whatever you can grab of your hand and you have the eagle arms ready. Now when this is ready, you lift yourself up, come on to um, stand on your knees. Now the left leg moves to the front, 90 degrees angle. And when you're done with that, put some activity into the right foot, come onto your tiptoes here, push yourself up first. Again, into the warrior three variation this time with the eagle arms, and you can stay here if you like, or you can try and lift yourself first into straight standing, and now try and wrap the right leg around the left, and then bend the left leg a little. Very good, come up again, go back the way you came in, right leg steps back, right knee on the floor, left knee joins, sit on your heels, the arms open to the side, just let them hang here for a minute and breathe. Do you know what's coming? So inhale, left arm now, Stretches out to the front, right arm crosses underneath and then wraps around it. Grab whatever you can grab with your left hand. Inhale, come onto you, like standing on your knees. Right leg now steps to the front. And the left toes flip over, push yourself up. And then you start slowly, slowly move, put the body weight into the right leg. Push yourself up first into this warrior three variation. And hold this here. Then come up if you did that before with the left leg still in the air. And now wrap the left leg around the right leg, crossing in the front and then the back. And try and bend. Very good. Inhale, straighten the leg, unwrap the left leg, step all the way back, left knee on the floor, right knee on the floor, bum on the heels, and the arms open. So that was eagle pose, well done you. And we're almost at the end of this little routine, so please just Place your hands on one side, the legs on the other, flip over into sitting posture with the knees, bend. Make sure that your feet are quite towards the beginning of your mat and you stretch out your arms on either side. Inhale here and with an exhale you slowly, vertebra by vertebra, move towards the floor using your abdominal muscles. Do this as controlled as possible. One vertebra, one vertebra. And when you're all the way on the floor, you can stretch out your arms either fully or in cactus pose. Move your legs a bit closer. And we're going to do some twists here. So inhale in the middle. And exhale, the knees move to the left, but they're not touching the floor yet, while the head turns to the right. Inhale, legs up, head up. Exhale, knees to the right, head to the left, not touching the floor yet. Inhale up. 
and exhale, knees fall to the left, hold it, inhale up, and knees fall to the right, and the head lifts to the left, and one more time up, knees to the left, head to the right, inhale up, and knees to the right, head to the left, inhale, uh, legs up. Now put your feet a bit further apart, but the, the out, like the edge of the mat, the knees fall together, the knees meet in the middle, and now you can come into your full twist, so the knees now flip over completely to the left. You can take, use your left foot to put it out on the outside of your right uh, knee to enhance the twist, and you look over to the right, the right side. Breathe deeply. Inhale. Release the right knee. Put the foot back on the floor. Knees come up. Head as well. Um, organize everything. Make sure that your feet are again on the outside, of the, at the edges of the mat, the knees are together. And now inhale. And with an exhale, the knees fall to the right, head to the left. Again, if you want to put the right foot on the outside of the left knee to enhance the twist, please do so. Oh, breathe deeply. Inhale, release the left knee, right foot back on the floor, legs, knees come up, head comes up, very good. Now stretch out your arms and your legs completely towards the ceiling and start, this is a really nice exercise to relax the back, start shaking the arms and the legs out. You should really feel the movement everywhere in your torso, not only in the arms and hands. And just shake it all out. Whatever still needs to go, the last bit of tension, just shake it here. Your way. Very good. Now bring your knees towards your chest, give yourself a hug with your arms, hug your legs, inhale and while you inhale, roll up once, ball up, become a really, really tight ball full of energy and exhale, roll back to the floor, stretch out the legs, stretch out the arms, come into your Shavasana. Position if you need if you want a blanket or a pillow to put under the knees, grab it now and if you need lying on the floor, feet are falling to the sides, the palms are facing the ceiling, the arms are also to the sides of your body. Take a few breaths. And feel how the body now feels after this um, little exercise. Travel once through your body, starting at the head, and scan smoothly without stopping anywhere towards the toes. Smoothly, constantly scanning. Checking in, not judging, just checking. And travel all the way down to your toes. Nice. Push your toes. There's nothing more to do. 
feel how your whole body starts to relax. Feel every muscle softness. Even the strong jaw muscle. Feel your body melting into the floor. The back of the head. The shoulders. Back and hips. And the knees. And the heels. And the toes are all relaxed. Now focus on your fingertips for a moment and see if you can feel a little pulsation in them. Now focus on your toes and see if you can feel the same pulsation there, a little prickling sensation. What is your energy? And I start to deepen your breath slowly. Work yourself up over the breath. Deep inhale here. Next, start moving to the left feet and the hands, maybe making small circles. Inhale and stretch all the way out. Like a good morning stretch. And exhale, slowly come up to the right. Give yourself a hug for a moment. With your eyes closed, push yourself up carefully into seating position, either cross-legged or sitting on your heels and a kneeling position as before. Put your hands, keep your eyes closed, put your hands on your kneecaps and give them a little massage. Just rubbing your hands over your kneecaps a moment and stop and inhale and lift the shoulders up and exhale through the mouth the shoulders relax inhale shoulders go up and exhale the shoulders relax inhale put your hands and namaste in front of the chest for one arm Now rub your hands and you feel the heat in your hands. Cover your eyes with the warm, energized hands and then slowly, slowly start to blink out and open your eyes and come back. Put your hand in Namaste. Thank yourself for taking this time for yourself, for stepping onto the mat, doing something good for you. And I'll thank you for your time. Namaste. See you again soon and have a great day, Stephanie.